to see more of her in round number two as we bring in Switzerland's Mathilde Grimont. Mathilde has not been competing all that much this season. And getting things warmed up at X Games, putting it together. Beautiful switch 270 onto that flat down. Now we move into the jumps here where Mathilde really excels. There's the right side Bio 900. Setting up on the big air side of this jump. Beautiful switch seven. And Mathilde won big air last year with the, the first ever switch double cork 14. So I'll be looking to Mathilde to see if she's adding that double into her run on that bottom jump later on today. Here is the look again at that switch 270. Perfect landing, really centered on the rail. So smooth on the takeoff here. Getting that mute grab, tweaking it out, and landing so clean on that switch seven. Such style. She owns a slope style silver medal from Norway in 2020. We'll see where this run slides her into the ranking again. No scores. It is a live ranking. The judges are here on the Jeep slope style course. Coming her way right now from Switzerland, Mathilde Grimal. She finds herself just one spot on the outside looking in, sitting in fourth. Right 270 onto that first rail and left 270 onto that middle rail. Switch right 270 onto that bottom rail. Now we get into the jumps for Mathilde. Opting for the left side dub 10 on the first jump. And there is the bio nine setting up switch in this final kicker. And keeping it nice and smooth and clean with the switch seven on the end there. So she's opting to go for her double on that first jump. It's a little bit smaller. I think she feels a little more confident getting that done earlier. And here is a look back at that first double. Dub 10, a little bit of a wheelie out of the landing there. Not the cleanest that I have seen out of Mathilde. That's the beauty of these jam formats, though. You get a, you get quite a few reps. They'll get at least four runs out here today. That's enough to bump her up, so she bumps Megan Oldham out into fourth. So Matilda has now put herself into podium contention. Matilda looks like she's getting more and more comfortable on this course. No matter what you set out to do, people will say you shouldn't, couldn't, can't, aren't allowed to, and probably won't. Which is what makes it feel so good. When you go back and tell them that you did, Jeep, there's only one. The dub 10 at the bottom, stepping it up. So Mathilde, the first to do two doubles in one run. She had the left double cork on her first jump and then ended the run with the switch double 10. But top to bottom, great run. Two Dang. So we'll see if this is able to bump her up. She's looking at a bronze medal as of right now. Let's take another look here. Here is that dub 10 off the top. Landed super clean, and then setting up here, switch into this bottom jump. Not locking the grab, but no problem with that rotation. Putting the feet down, spotting her landing there. I, I do. I, I said it already. I don't envy the judges today. It's, it's how do you decide? So that is going to bump her up one spot. She is going to overtake Johanna Keeley and put herself in a silver medal position. Two competitors with only one of them on the outside looking in. Mathilde Grimaud takes to the course now. She currently is sitting in a silver medal spot. She's guaranteed a medal as of right now. The question is, what color will it be? Looking good through the rails. 
One of the only women to spin it in both directions onto those rails. Bonus points there. Here is the dub tent. Such a great view of that. And here is the right side 900. A oh, little slow on that. Setting up for the dub tent. Oh, and going huge on that last jump. So it's not going to be an improvement for Matilde. So Tess has dodged. 